that if we don't listen to what he says, that we're going to be punished with hurricanes and fires and floods and droughts and starvation and plague and pestilence. And you haven't figured out already, I'm, I'm talking about Al Gore. Yeah. <laughs> Just me in the two front rows, it seems, right about now. Yeah, the rest of the room, I don't know if you noticed. Remember that Mormon noise I was talking about? <laughs> oh, no, they get it. You see, they just don't, they just don't see. They, they probably thought I was talking about something like Pat Robertson. You know, and for me, I really don't see the difference between Pat Robertson and Al Gore. They're both trying to scare the shit out of us. In fact, you know, the difference is that when Pat Robertson says that hurricanes are caused by homosexuality and lesbianism... <laughs> We laugh at him. When Al Gore says they're caused by SUVs, he gets a Nobel Prize and a fucking Oscar. <laughs> and I know people say, no, no, one's religion, the other is science. Not really. I know, I know. The scientific consensus supports Al Gore. Well, you know what? Two years ago, scientific consensus said that there were nine planets. Now there's only eight. Does that mean one exploded? <laughs> Forty years ago, scientific consensus was that we should stop eating butter and switch to margarine, which is trans fat. And now, scientific consensus is that trans fat is so awful that we, should, we have to make it illegal. Thirty years ago, scientific consensus was that by the year 2000, the United States was going to be swarmed by killer bees and we were all going to die. Now they're telling us the bees are all going extinct and we're all going to die! <laughs> In last February, man, it was cold. I was standing outside with an aerosol can going, God, <laughs> I hope that fat bag of shit is right on this one. <laughs> Because I always thought the global implied Earth, and warming implied hotter. Well, that just shows you how ignorant I am. Global warming, sure, it can cause it to get hotter, but it can also cause it to get colder. It can cause drought, but it can also cause floods. It can cause rain, it can cause fire, it can cause an astronaut to drive across the country wearing a pair of diapers. <laughs> What a strange winter we had last year. <laughs> Global warming. <laughs> well, you're forgetting they're just scientists, man. They're not prophets. They're not prescient. They're, they're scientists. Self-important pinheads who never get laid. <laughs> Geeky people with glasses and allergies and asthma. That, Spend their childhood getting beat up for lunch money and creamed on the dodgeball court. They'd come home and cry in their mother's laps and their mom would say, that's okay, they don't like you because you're smarter than them, but you'll make lots of money someday, don't you worry, but they don't. They don't listen to their dad when their dad said, you're never going to get a job with a degree like that. So rather than get a valuable degree, they get stupid degrees in things like astronomy and archaeology and paleoclimatology and and they never get the good job. Their friends do, man. They're lawyers and doctors and engineers, CPAs and MBAs, and they're making big expensive, they're making cash, and they have big expensive homes and big expensive cars, pulling big expensive boats full of big expensive girls with big expensive boob jobs. <laughs> and the scientists, man, they don't have that. They got shitty little research positions. They drive home their shitty little Volvo to their shitty one room flat and eat some ramen noodles and jerk off the reruns of Star Trek The Next Generation. And they wonder where it went all wrong because they're smarter than everyone else. They see the boats, they see the cars, they see the home, and every time it's like another f***ing dodgeball smack them in the back of their head. And they shouldn't have it. If I can't have it, they can't have it. No one can have it. And when the media says, do you think those cars and homes and boats are ruining the environment? Yes, I do! We need laws to take it away from them! They're killing the polar bears and melting the ice caps! They're destroying the planet! <laughs> Here's
here's the best science right now. Right now, Al Gore, of course, is saying that, that what's going to happen is the ocean's going to rise 20 feet. And you know, why doesn't he just say 11 dezillion? <laughs> the best science right now, the IPCC report, worst case scenario, 23 inches over the next 100 years. Okay, here's 23 inches, everybody. I'm standing, I'm standing in the ocean, okay? And 23 inches is right about, ooh, 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 that looks like a crisis. <laughs> okay, now watch carefully. Here's how you deal with 23 inches of ocean. You might have to do this someday. Now, if you can't do that in a hundred years, <laughs> you deserve to die. That's not climate change, that's Darwin, man.